vitamin D is very, very important. Also, just getting that good sunlight in the morning kind of gets it resets that circadian rhythm. And so circadian rhythm is light and cortisol driven. And as cortisol drops, melatonin increases. There's this kind of inverse relationship of cortisol to melatonin. And so the light kind of helps reset that so you get on the right schedule there. As um, light stimulates cortisol, it hits your pineal gland. It kind of helps charge up the pineal gland as well. Very important for melatonin synthesis at nighttime because as cortisol drops, we have this natural circadian rhythm. Cortisol is highest in the morning drops throughout the day. As it drops, melatonin can increase at night. And that, that light really kind of helps reset things. So that's very important. Now, also very important as well, melatonin, it's kind of like a hormone kind of neurotransmitter made from the pineal gland, right, right in this area here, the brain. And it's made from amino acids. So 5-HTP or tryptophan, L-tryptophan, it's an amino acid that's a building block for melatonin. And an important cofactor for it as well as was B6 as well, an important B vitamin, very important cofactor. So if we're eating nutritionally deficient foods, lots of processed carbs, not getting good quality B vitamins, not digesting our protein well, you could see poor digestion and poor nutrient density in the foods could easily affect sleep quality. You know what? This is interesting too. And sorry, I knocked over my water bottle. Uh, I was trying to grab my phone to pull up the D minder app because I look at the D minder app to look at when you can actually synthesize vitamin D because it's only at certain times of the day, especially when you're in a more northern latitude. So anywhere south of I think it's the 37th latitude, there's a vitamin D winter. And so today, believe it or not, it says right here on the app today, which we're recording is November 29th. It says today is the last day of the year where I can get vitamin D and I can only get it today from 1213 to 1249. So there's literally barely 30 minutes today is the final day to synthesize vitamin D. And then that's going to last this quote vitamin D winter, meaning that the angle of the sun is going to be too low in the sky to synthesize vitamin D that will last until I want to say it's about February. I can't remember right off the top of my head, but it's usually December, give or take to January or February. There's almost a month or two where you can't make any vitamin D. So I will be supplementing a little more. And there's actually a 2020 paper on this that was called vitamin D and sleep regulation. And long story short, uh, vitamin D supplementation improves sleep disturbances. Now, it says that vitamin D is involved in the pathways of production of melatonin. So I didn't know that. I thought that it was primarily a cortisol melatonin. You and I talk about this seesaw of you want know, high cortisol in the morning and then uh, at night cortisol drops, melatonin rises. But apparently the vitamin D receptors and the enzymes that control their activation and degradation interplay with melatonin. So there you go. You learn something new every day. Yeah. And so it's working on what the vi so vitamin D is working on melatonin receptor sites. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Or it's yeah, working so, on synthesis of melatonin. So synthesis. So you have part of the, that's what I think I mentioned, like charging the pineal gland. I think charging that pineal gland to get in that good light. That's, I think you need that good UV light to stimulate melatonin uh, production. And then you also need the raw material, right? You need the 5-HTP tryptophan amino acids. You need the B6. Those are all really important cofactors. And the light kind of is an important stimulator to help make it as well as I think time it up too, right? It really times up that rhythm. Uh, one of the best things when you have time zone issues is get up in the morning, watch that sun rise. You can even do a little bit of caffeine as well to stimulate the cortisol. So you get the cortisol increase while you're seeing the light. The pineal gland sees that uh, ultraviolet light coming in. It syncs up your rhythm and you do a little bit of melatonin at night and that kind of gets your rhythm right back on track. So anyone's traveling time zones, it's one of the best ways to get back on track is see the sunrise in the morning, a little bit of caffeine, and then sunset at night with some melatonin that gets the cycle all dialed in.